It is the Woody Show, and it is graduation season. Already. Already. Here we are. It's the middle of May. Uh, High school and college graduations are happening. You're right. I I remember getting out of, uh, you know, high school and getting out of elementary school Mm -hmm. in, like, early to mid-June. Yeah, Yeah. right. But now it seems more and more that people are getting out in May, graduating in May, especially college. College always got out earlier. Yeah, I think that was always yeah. late May. Yeah. I don't even remember when I graduated. I remember thinking like, oh, wow, man, they get out in May. That's yeah. awesome. Lucky. The commencements are all over the yeah, map. They yeah. are. Some colleges are done already. Yeah. Way, Some look, are happening well, this weekend. I think weekend. it's easier maybe for people that have, you know, siblings, you know, like they can go to this graduation. If they had college and high school at the same time, it might be kind of difficult. Well, it doesn't have to difficult. be on the same day. Well, like but, the same month or yeah, anyway, you know, travel so involved. Either way, we are in uh, we are in graduation season right now, and every year Greg likes to put together a commencement address to the graduating class. And so today, Greg Gorey will address the class of 2019. 2019. Yeah. Wow. So crazy, huh? Well, when you're as old as Greg, you just <laughs> can't believe yeah. it. Another year. Wow. Oh, my day. My day. Oh. Wow. I spent 30 years since Greg graduated high school. Yeah. Oh. That's right. I have my 30th reunion coming up oh in October. Rip. 30! Depressing hey. AF. Yeah. Old. But all that so wisdom, old. you know? All that wisdom. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. God. All right, so here we go. It is Greg Gorey with his commencement address. And ladies Students, and gentlemen, I give you yeah. our honored guest. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet. Here with this year's commencement speech. That's very nice. Greg Gorey. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class of 2019, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here, but allow me to begin by issuing a heartfelt apology for allocating your gender without your consent. You may identify (laughs) as a lady or a gentleman or perhaps neither or perhaps both. It's okay to assume that you may not have been offended by my reckless appointment of titles was indeed wrong, and please know that I am internally bowing my head in great shame. High school graduates, congratulations to you on being four years smarter. You've strived for good grades. You excelled at athletics. You crammed for finals in the last push for that GPA. You partook in extracurricular activities to jazz up your college applications with no help from your actress mothers and actor and or designer fathers who, for some reason kept meeting with college admissions consultants and kept asking you to pose for pictures while holding oars. It was all very weird. (laughs) You learned state capitals, you memorized the presidents, you read Lord of the Flies. You've come a long way. Oh, and now I realize I owe you you another apology. Maybe you're not four years smarter. After all, intelligence up until recently was measured with grades, and he or she or they with the best grades were named valedictorian, but I do understand you may not believe in grades as they are simply tools of divisiveness. The notion of valedictorian is an antiquated practice that promotes self-loathing. If you did not excel or even partake in sports, that's okay too. I do apologize if I gave the impression that you must have athletic prowess to prove something to a patriarchal society. Now, as for memorizing the presidents, I did fail to realize that you may not consider some of our presidents as your president. And it was insensitive me to assume that you would even entertain the idea of reading a book about (laughs) testosterone-fueled bullies hell-bent on island domination. But I digress. Let's move on to college graduates. You did it. Four, maybe five, maybe six years of education is now behind you. You now know what it's like to have classrooms the size of a movie theater where you learned about existentialism and microeconomics and Ukrainian literature on a campus that promoted not-at-all ironic events like gay pride rallies and Che Guevara t-shirts and anti-capitalist rallies that were promoted via Twitter and Facebook on your smartphone while wearing Lululemon (laughs) and driving your Jetta and drinking Tito's. Now that college is behind you, you can rest assured that society does give you our deepest sympathy in regards to student loans. We agree with you that although you signed on the dotted line and agreed to borrow money for your education and agreed to a set payment schedule, it is the institution itself that is cruel and abusive when it expects to be repaid. Stay the course and stand your ground, graduates. You borrowed money, but you should not have to pay it back. That written agreement is merely a symbol. It is a symbol of extortion. Try not to fret about it too much. You didn't know. You just signed it. That's all. Whatever. The only... 
other times in adult life, and I mean this sincerely, the only other times in adult life that you will be expected to pay back what you borrowed will be a mortgage, an auto loan, an auto lease, a credit card, an equity line, a personal loan, a tax debt, medical expenses, and a cell phone plan. But that's it! So to sum it up, both high school and college grants, I would put it in a nutshell by saying be alert. Be alert to the fact that a small yet very vocal minority might try to convince you of things so outlandish that you might believe them to be true and even be afraid to point out their absurdity. If grades can no longer measure progress and ranking, maybe we should do away with measuring our body weight in pounds. As much as it would be nice to identify as 190 pounds when you really weigh in at 220, it's just not realistic. Be alert that some logic is flawed. Should we do away with MVPs and Employees of the Week, winners of the Super Bowl, the Academy Awards? I say no. Be alert to the fact that not all protests and rallies are inherently good. Be alert to the fact that your candidate might not win. Be alert to the fact that when you sign a contract, guess what? You're going to be held responsible for your part of the deal. And be alert to the world around you. Did you just stock up at Costco by walking nine linear miles through aisles of family-sized lasagnas and pallets of diapers? Then don't lose the ability to walk from your car to the card corral. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a coexist bumper sticker on your car? Then coexist. And don't only coexist with mindsets that are identical to only yours. Did you see trash fall out of your neighbor's garbage can and land on the street when the scoopy arm thing dumped it into the truck? Then pick it up. <laughs> Be alert to toilet seats. Whether you identify as a man or a woman, close the lid. Let us end the endless argument that never ends for once and for all for the love of whatever God you may worship. Close the toilet seat. Amen. My point is, graduating class of 2019, be alert. Maybe it's not necessary to tweet your every thought. Maybe it's not necessary to take a picture of your feet every time you're lying in a lounge chair by the pool. We can agree to disagree that grades are evil, that valedictorians are elitists, that loans should be gifts, that life should be fair. Spoiler alert, life is not fair. But graduating class of 2019, simply be alert. The world needs more alerts. Yeah! Yes, Greg. Now I'm ready to get out there. I love it. Get out there. There you go, Greg. <laughs>